Hi guys, gonna take and do a quick video on how I uh, pull my uh, saddle pin on uh, my Cat 140M3 here. So if you look up top here and this switch right here on the very top, it's got a uh, red push button on it. So this is your uh, draft link unlock switch here for your saddle. So what I like to do is, is I'll take and slide my mole board all the way to the left here. And then I take my uh, circle side shift all the way to the left. Kick it in the float, got it in float here. Now, I will say, be very careful. You always want to make sure your blade is on the ground and in float before you unlock that pin. Because if you have your blade up off the ground, you pull that pin and that pin comes out of there, that uh, your uh, pin hole where your uh, saddle pin goes there, that can change and your blade can slide into a tire if you're not careful or whatever. So just be mindful of that. So I'll hit that. And then you look down here on the... Uh, monitor there and then it shows that my uh, center pin is retracted so what I'll do here is, is I'll just simply take my uh, table my circle side shift and I'm just moving it back to the uh, right here and my uh, draft arms or my uh, circle side shift so my pins are moving here, and then you look over on this gauge here. And there's a little gauge right on the right hand side here. So I'm just about lined up with my uh, hash mark there. Sometimes you'll have to uh, wiggle it a little bit to get it to go in. take it up off a of float a little bit there and then that light went away on the uh, dash there so what I do is to clean my mold board off I just simply retract my circle side shift to the left while lifting up on the uh, left blade lift and then pushing down on my right blade lift and then I just simply roll my blade ahead Shake all loose material off of there. And there's the whole blade straight up and down. So I like doing this at the end of every day for sure. Keep all that loose material off the top of your uh, moldboard slides. Make them last a lot longer. And then, uh, so like in my last video where I showed I had my uh, moldboard put out to the side like this. I'll replicate that here. And that's the exact same way I had my uh, moldboard positioned in the last video there. So pretty straightforward on that as far as that goes. Um, one thing I will say, I like doing this here if I'm going to put uh, graphite on my uh, sliding moldboard. I just take and hang it out to the side like this and uh, actually raise it up a little bit then I can go in and I can grease my uh, circle drive pinion underneath the circle and put graphite on the uh, slides there and uh, keep everything maintained nice. So going back under I push down on my left side and then kind of watch this right side here keep that down close to the ground and then be careful you don't poke a hole in your fuel tank on the ems and then i pretty much just take it back under here kick it back in the float here i'll go up and i'll retract my pin again pin will come out take it out of float Actually, I normally leave it in float, and then I will just reverse the steps here. And I'll come over, kick it out of float, lift up on my left side here just a little bit. 
line that up with my center hole jiggle it around a little bit and get the pin in so that's pretty much a quick way on how to pull the saddle pin on a uh, cat 140 m3 if anybody's got any questions put them down in the comments would like to uh, thank everybody for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next video